What's up guys? You might have noticed that I haven't put out a video in a couple of weeks and that's because I've been experiencing some serious YouTube burnout. I've had my channel now for almost six years and I'm getting a little tired of the editing process. I really don't like sitting down in front of my computer and editing video. Um, it typically takes like an hour and a half to two hours just to edit a 10 minute video and it's something that I just really don't enjoy doing anymore. But I do really enjoy being a part of this community and sharing everything that I know to help you guys out with your businesses. So I think I might have found a win-win situation where I keep making videos, but I just really limit down the editing. For example, with the videos that I would do where I show what I sold on eBay, I would spend a lot of time, you know, clipping in the screenshots of what I sold and doing all these little edits to them. And I think I'm going to start making those videos again, but just making them really raw, not doing a whole lot of edits, not adding a bunch of stuff in, but you guys still get all of the good stuff as far as what I'm selling, how much I'm selling it for, tips and tricks with shipping and all that stuff. So bear with me. The videos might be a little bit rough around the edges, but I figure it's better than not making any videos at all. So I would love some feedback on that. Let me know what you guys think of this video and we'll get to packing some orders. All right, so I did a whatnot show on Friday and that's some of these cards down here, some of these cards in the boxes. Those are all going to ship out. I sold just under $400 in cards. I've been doing a really good balance of whatnot and eBay. So all of those are going to ship out. Not really much to show you with those, to be honest. But I will show you some eBay sales. B51, we got this Tascam. What is this thing? I think it's a... Uh, oh, it's a guitar trainer. Portable CD guitar trainer. I was thinking it was some kind of like loop station. I got this from the Mojo Casher crew. Did not have a power cord, but I just sold it as is for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a card that I listed on eBay. This is a Chris McMahon auto button patch. So they took a button from his shirt and put it in the card. Pretty cool. Number two out of six. And this sold for $19.99 free shipping and is going out to a viewer named John. So John, thank you for the support. Hope you like that card. Okay, last thing I'm shipping out today is this little... What is this thing? This is something funky. This is a striker drill. It's some kind of like medical device drill, to be honest with you guys. I don't even fully know what this thing does, but it comes with uh, these attachments right here. There's some kind of like key chuck thing. I got this in a bulk buy of just random stuff, so I don't think I have much into it. And I had it listed for like, I don't know, $200 or best off or something like that. I sent out an offer to somebody for $95 and they took it. All right, I've gotten a lot of questions about shipping cards. So I'm going to show you guys how I ship this card right here. I'm going to take a piece of painter's tape, put it on the top loader like that. That way the card doesn't really slide out. Then we're going to put the card in between two pieces of cardboard. And we're going to tape all four edges. Got to throw a couple stickers in there for John. And we'll grab a bubble mailer. Just like this. Slide it right in there and it'll be good to go. Appreciate you, John. Thanks so much for the business. What's going on, guys? I am in Dayton, Ohio with my buddy Tony. Whoop, whoop. And we're going to go hit some thrift stores. Well, at least one or two. Yeah, I know we're hitting, we're hitting Valley Thrift and yep. maybe hitting the Goodwill bins, yep. but I don't think they allow filming in the Goodwill bins. So no. we will bring you guys in with us where we're allowed to. Woo! So let's go see what we can find. This jacket is killer, but price tag, $250, not so much. We got a boy band CD collection here. Backstreet Boys, New Kids on the Block. $1.99, it could be yours. These right here, I'm pretty sure I know what they are because I've sold them before. I believe these are um, legs for a sleep number bed. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Four dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna take a chance on these. This linen section is something that gets overlooked by a lot of people. I just saw these sleeping bags and this one caught my eye. It is $9. And it is DuPont Hollow Fill. Um, I'm not sure if the brand is Coleman or if the brand is DuPont because I know DuPont makes some of the materials. 
but if you look at some of these prices, there's one for $50, $35, $60. I definitely think there's something here, so I'm gonna grab that for nine bucks. What'd you find? Uh, I found this town craft, like food processing, vintage food processor oh, slash cool. vegetable cutter, nine bucks. And it's like a 30, eh, 25 to 40, somewhere in there. Nice. So, it's 11 bucks. Would you go for about 20, Skip 25? It. Yeah, I'd leave it. I think so too. Just found a Sony DVD recorder for eight bucks. I don't even see the tag, but it's eight bucks. Uh, going anywhere between like 40 and 60 bucks. So I'm definitely grabbing this. Just found an Adidas Catcher's Mitt for six bucks. Uh, one sold for 52 free ship. So I think I can easily get 35, 40 bucks out of that. What's up guys? It is Wednesday morning. Got some eBay stuff going out, but first I want to show you this bag. I picked this up at the um, thrift store yesterday and I didn't record a clip when I was picking it up. So I thought I'd open it up real quick and show you guys. Paid $2.99 for the whole bag and there's a couple goodies in here. Let me cut this open. What they like to do with this thrift store is just throw a whole bunch of stuff in a bag and just sell the whole thing. And a lot of times some of the best deals you can find. This right here is some kind of scope ring mounts by Tasco. I looked these up. I don't think these are going for much. Maybe six or seven bucks. There were some uh, leather knife sheaths, sheaths, something, knife, hol knife holsters. Um, I don't think those have much value. This little knife is kind of cool. Let's see here if there's a maker on it. I'm not sure if there's a maker on it. That might not have much value either. Uh, this kind of caught my eye. This is... North American Hunting Club, lifetime member, belt buckle, might be worth a little bit, not sure. Uh, this right here was the reason I bought the bag. This is a 45 automatic Smith & Wesson, it's a clip. I know nothing about guns, uh, but it looks like some kind of gun clip to me for 45 automatic. It says S&W, so I'm pretty sure that's Smith & Wesson. I don't know if I can sell this on eBay. I'm going to um, ask you guys advice. What do you think? I know certain gun things you can sell on eBay, certain things you can't, so I don't know if I can sell a clip or not. So if you know about these, if you sold them before, let me know in the chat. I'm sorry, let me know in the comment section uh, if uh, you've sold these before, if uh, eBay allows them. I'm curious. All right, first thing I'm shipping out today is in C41. This is sewing accessories by Neki or Nietzsche. I'm sure I'm butchering that name. This is pretty interesting. It's got the case, it's got all these little attachments and stuff, and there's even like this little wheel in here that you can uh, rotate to uh, tell you different stuff about what tools you're using, I guess. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. I got it in a bulk buy. I've maybe got about five bucks into it. All right, next thing is on the bottom of the B shelf. We've got some Mopar Chrysler Dodge hubcaps. I don't even know what these go to. I think they go to a big Dodge truck. I listed these for like, I don't know, 70 or 80 or best offer for the pair. Somebody offered me $50 plus shipping and I accepted. Next, we are going to A32 and I sold a little pin with a phone dialer in it. Check this thing out. Actually, you know what? This might be a mechanical pencil, um, but it has the phone dialer. So if you guys are old enough to remember rotary phones, they had these little holes and you would pick a number, put your finger in it and it would go all the way around and then click back. And they had some pins where you could just like put the pin in there and rotate the little dial. This is from Bell Systems and this sold for $14.99 free shipping. All right, next thing is some comics that I sold. First is an A32, it's in these bags here. I grab this bag and then the next one is in C41. Let's see right here. These are vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comics. And I think most of them are the Eastman and Laird's. Let's see if I can slide these out of here and show you guys. A couple of them, anyways. Really cool. I think these are 80s and 90s. And I thought about listing these individually, but. A good number of them were only going for about like five to ten bucks, so I decided to just list them all together. Two different lots of eight sold for $193.50 plus shipping. And I did 
an auction starting at a dollar on these. Um, I do, I don't do a ton of auctions. I like doing auctions if it meets two criteria. First criteria is if it's hard for me to pinpoint a price on everything. Um, and with comics, you know, condition definitely affects price. Uh, second qualifier for me for auctions is has to be something that's in demand. Uh, these are definitely in demand. I saw some other auctions that had gotten a lot of bids, and I'm really glad I auctioned these because if I did a buy now for all 16, I probably wouldn't have put it at 200 bucks. So super happy with that sale. I've got, I think, $25 into these. It was a part of a, a bulk uh, comic buy I made. Next thing I'm shipping out are these shoulder pads I just picked up yesterday. I bought them yesterday, I listed them yesterday, and I sold them yesterday. I paid just over $8 for them because I got them at the... Goodwill bin, so I was paying by the pound, and they sold for $49.99 plus shipping. I was thinking I was going to have to wait a while because I think high school football season's pretty much over for the most part, but they sold quick. All right, last thing I'm shipping out is this gas tank. You guys have probably seen this in my videos for months now, and I got this at a garage sale over the summer at some point. I paid 50 bucks for it. Somebody was just using it to hang on their wall. Uh, but it is an original gas tank on a Harley. I think this is called like the Liberty. Yeah, the Liberty edition. This sold for $110 plus shipping. All right, next thing, we're coming up here to C1. I sold some wrapping paper for The Simpsons. And a viewer named Chad bought this. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Chad, thanks so much, man. Hope you like the wrapping paper. All right, next, we're coming to B32. I sold a sealed box of cards from 92. This is Upper Deck Baseball. And I think I had these listed for like $25 or best offer. Somebody offered me $20 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, next we're coming up here to A32. I sold Super C. It's a Super Contra for NES. Had some condition issues. I mean, it's it's in fair shape. Um, if it was mint, it would have sold for more. But as it is, it sold for $19.99 for shipping. Next, we are coming to B43. Let me move this diffuser thing out of the way. I sold this NES. That was part of that. Uh, buy of games and stuff uh, did not work unfortunately they rarely do these days <laughs> it uh most definitely needs a new 72 pin connector you can get those i think for about i don't know 10 or 15 bucks and then you can take the whole thing apart and replace it and i think about 75 percent of the time it fixes it you know that whole blinking light thing but i didn't want to go through all that trouble i sold it as is and you know just said like, yeah, it's got the blinking light issue. This sold for $34.99 plus shipping. All right, we're going to B51 next. I've got some ephemera that's sold. This is a pretty cool piece, actually. This is a really old Jiminy Cricket. I think they call these like mechanical or something like that because they all have moving pieces. This is from, I think it's from the 50s. Pretty neat little piece. I think I had it listed for like... 25 or 30 or best offer yes from 1958 um ended up taking the best offer of 18 dollars free shipping next thing's in b42 it is legends of zelda nes once again some condition issues on this one like the other game bishop sticker residue would have been worth more if it was in better shape as it is sold for 24.99 free shipping all right last thing i'm shipping out today is in b43 it is this donna karen cashmere aura perfume i got this in that big perfume buy you guys saw me make about a month ago, I paid 500 for everything, and I'm way in the profit on this stuff. I think I've already profited like 550, 600 bucks. It was a really good buy. This one I had listed for like I don't know, 35 or best offer. Somebody offered me $28 free shipping, and I accepted. Before I end this video, I want to give a special shout out to Blake. He sent me a letter. It says, "Dear Cincinnati Picker, my name is Blake. I collect autographs through the mail. I'm a huge fan of your YouTube videos. I have a medical condition." I have a medical condition called NF2. I face many challenges on a daily basis, but your videos always make my day. I was wondering if you could please sign the photo. Blake, thank you so much for the letter, man. I will gladly sign the photo and send you a little care package as well. If you guys could do me a favor, leave a comment below, send Blake some love, tell him hi, what's up, just a little something to say hi, maybe a smiley face, just something to brighten his day. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.